The book is called a Newfoundland Postage Stamp Designs and essentially it's an art book uh, which shows up close each of the Newfoundland postage stamps. Newfoundland issued postage stamps over a 90 year period before it joined Canada in 1949 and uh, each of these images uh, has a history uh, and so over a five year period uh, I began to do the, 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 the groundwork and the research to find where these images had come from. Uh, found some of them in Toronto, Canada, some of them in Newfoundland, some of them in London, England, but each of them had a story to tell. Um, for example, this one here, um, uh, the Newfoundland dog's face, uh, a well-known Newfoundland stamp. Uh, was in red, it, was, it was printed in red and black. Uh, what most uh, people don't know is that uh, the dog actually used for this uh, image was a white dog. Um, he's shown down here. This is the, the, uh, the image that the original design came from. Um, the dog's name was Bob. Uh, and so it, that tells the story of, of uh, how Bob got to be on the postage stamp. The target market is obviously Newfoundland stamp collectors uh, who may have a wonderful stamp collection but may not know exactly where these images came from and to have uh, a book on their coffee table which shows the stamps uh, up close uh, I think would be a, a, an asset and, and something people would want. And I'm also thinking the market might be um, uh, in the art area because it is a book about uh, designs and, and where pictures, you know, images mm -hmm. come from. So it's called Newfoundland Postage Stamp Designs.